Alright. It's one of those missions. Bandits once again crashed the helicopter because they're such bad pilots. I think one of them may have spotted me because that's what happens. They go prone. No, they haven't. Okay, so they're all moving a group. They usually just scatter. Maybe send two people up into the tree line. Something like that to... Actually, this one to the right? No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna get a, try and get a bit closer by just going around the perimeter to make sure that I'm in that tree line over there. Um, because it does end up getting you killed. Um, I'm just gonna stay low so they don't actually spot me. Why did you come through here on a motorbike earlier? <laughs> but I had to get myself a assault rifle. Since I apparently didn't have one. Um, <laughs> There's a few ruins. That's, that's what the bandits have done. That's what they've done. I need to take them out before they spread. Okay, so there's... Uh, looks like somebody prone up on there. Okay. And looks like they're all in a group. So this should be fine. Um, this position right here. At least I think. No, I need to get a bit closer. But I just don't want to get into their site. So then they can't spot me. But I might actually just check this perimeter to see if there's any uh, one on the on the flank. Uh, I might actually just take the shot now once I get my breath back. That's one thing in combat you do need uh, your breath, otherwise you will be shaking all over the place, especially if you're sniping. I don't know if... Yeah, they're going straight over the top of them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because of the... Yeah. Damn hills. <laughs> um, I would have thought they would have gotten them, but... Unfortunately, Armour 2 physics isn't working for me today. But I can just go into the tree line. Because this is at least at a good position. And they haven't spotted me yet. So it is fine. And I didn't see any of them, so they're definitely all in a group. So I need to make sure that I know where their location is. So then they don't just have a group of two to split up and then just come over and flank me. Which would be very unfortunate. They've spotted me. Okay, so definitely the guy is prone. I've gotten him. Um, yeah, I don't know if any, uh, if there's the re. Actually, there's a person right there. Got him. I'm just gonna move over to the left because I don't know if any one of them have flanked me yet. Uh, since I did see that one person. So I don't know if there's any others. But it's probably best to just check. Why am I going prone? So this is probably better level. Bushes still. I'm not sure if bushes are still like buildings. They're just like a brick wall.
Is that not getting them? Yeah, that's it. Okay. An AI can pass out if you do shoot them with a silenced pistol or something. There's a secondary. So anything that's silenced, if you just shoot once, and even if you shoot them in the head, they'll just get knocked out. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's probably best not to use a silenced weapon when you're dealing with AI or anyone. They're very unpredictable. I wasn't sure if that was just a play. Alright. Looks like they're all gone. Thankfully enough. Um, but I can just grab the gear. So the zombies are spawned. I don't know if that means that the AI are finished. If the zombies do spawn. But I'm just going to be... Be cautious. But I'm just going to grab my vehicle. Which isn't too far off. Um, so it's best if I just run across to see if they'll shoot at me. At least I'm near the helicopter. There we go. <laughs> Been secured by a survivor. That's good. Um. Okay, looks like they're all dead. Should, should be fine. So, I'm gonna collect all of these. Oh, thankfully enough. Uh, the restart doesn't happen until every few hours which is very decent because uh, the loot does disappear everything the AI missions disappear and I'm not sure about vehicles at the moment but to I think tow vehicles you need either a crowbar or a toolbox and it's dependent on whether the server is glitchy enough or I think the tow system is just a bit buggy at the moment so just relax if it does happen but I th I'm not sure if relogging will help Although I have done it numerous times and it hasn't, um, unfortunately, but that's not my vehicle. I've got plenty of room so I might stick with this vehicle for a bit until I do settle down. And then I will end up having to buy... Actually no, this is a fuel truck. This costs 4 10 ounce to buy and to sell it's 2 10 ounce or something like that. It's, it's around about that much. So it's probably best if I maybe keep this, but I knew to find a portable generator. To actually use the fuel tank to get the fuel. Um, yeah, it looks like they're all gone. Okay. That's the motorbike oh, <laughs> that I used. <laughs> Set the bail. I didn't take out one or two. Looks like I found where the AI are. <laughs> Finally. So they are quite a distance from where the vehicles and all the gear is. I should be at a good level. I'm just going to get my breath back. I've got three magazines, 15 shots, no more than 10 AI. I should be fine. Uh, but I don't think they're going to be running up the hill. So, uh, should be good to actually start firing. This looks like... No. Nope. Just about, no. There we go. Alright. It's always good to get a clean headshot for the first kill. <laughs> um, and testing out the distance. I really should have marked. Uh, the location, but there is a bit of downfall, or well, the bullet drop. But I don't seem to know where this is coming from, which is good, so I'm just going to be sniping. And I think his head will be... Nope, no ammunition left. Okay, I can always kind of... This uh, this is the worst sniping. But I'm just going to move in. Looks like I've killed enough of them to minimize the fatal death. Or just the fatality of it. But Trader City Starry is just over the hill. So I can just load everything up and drive over. Because I don't have a toolbox 
or a crowbar because I think that's what you need for towing. Ooh, hopefully, because um, then I can just purchase one at the city. But I guess I'll find test that when I get there. But I really need to look for building supplies. I did get raided. Not exactly raided because I wasn't in game, but it was potentially a hacker because I did end up killing him and he managed to get back to the same area in less than five minutes or so. And it was all the way up north of the map, so I, I'm pretty sure and he did end up having an AS-50. So... Yeah. <laughs> it's probably best if I just left, which I did. Um, that was really the only option I had. Did I just hit his gun? Or the ground before him? I don't know. Looks like there's somebody there. That got him. Okay, so there's... Mounted. Um, that looks to be all of them. Hopefully. So, uh, no, no sniper. Okay, no sniper up there. <laughs> I was looking for maybe a rifle to shoot down. Looks like all of them. I would imagine. But just before I run over, I just need to double tap. Make sure they're all. They're all perished and not alive. There we go. They're all gone. Being secured by survivors. Looks like I found my building supply. <laughs> Alright, this is coming together very nicely. So this is what I need to basically base build. I don't know about the scrap metal, that'll just be for repairing a helicopter. So this is what I need. I need for the portable generator. Um, so it's power bill is not available. And this is where power is needed, but it's only temporarily, so it may it's not going to last a while. It will last a bit, but not a while. Um, I was hoping that would have been a 30 meter plot pole, not just a normal one. But I'm just going to throw all this into the Humvee, which it does nearly weigh me 1,000 pounds, which it will once I there we go over 1,000. So I just load all this in. Then I can grab the gear off the, the AI, and I think that that box just below me is a weapons, which has all the weapons in it. The weapons catch, or weapons crate, however you want to say it. But I can bring my truck over, because I did pick up a crowbar, there was a few uh, bits and pieces there. So it looks like this is just another one. Okay, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> this is going to be lots of fun. Uh, since I've got all the gear now. I might as well just take everything. Uh, just in case, just to store it. Looks like this mission paid off. Two DMRs. They are one of my favourite weapons in the game. So, <laughs> so happy I got these. But this mission did take a lot longer than as expected. But it was a large bandit weapon catch. So was well worth it. Uh, hopefully it was. <laughs> but it definitely was. So that's very uh, comforting to know. But it was worth it. Wasn't a whole waste of time. Now I need to be careful not to destroy stuff. But the thing about throwing stuff into vehicles, it falls out the back instead of when in your backpack gets destroyed. So if you're looking to keep items, then I guess uh, know what you're putting inside of your backpack because if you don't you go off guard then you'll end up deleting uh, briefcases like I've done previously <laughs> um, but it's just kind of the luck of the draw if you delete it or not kind of something like that similar to the lottery uh, if you wanted to compare it to that but uh, looks fine. Uh, this should all work out. So that's good. Okay. So at least this vehicle will stay with me after restart. Hopefully. Pretty sure it will. Because it's not an AI. Uh, it's not an AI vehicle. Which usually happens. 
Uh, I'm just going to really check these bodies. But unfortunately there is no custom clothing um, on them at the moment. So is that an M24? I don't know, is it? Yeah, it is. Alright, that's a nice weapon as well. So I'm going to take that. Oh, fortunately enough, there is ammunition. Whoa. See, so yeah, I, I, it's, it's a bit uh, unfortunate there isn't custom clothing for the AI. That'd be pretty cool. Because that's where you get the good clothing. Uh, for the stuff. And you, you do know if there's AI when you go study body it says unknown. An unknown cause died from an unknown cause. But I should probably head off. Um, yeah, the scenery is really nice on Chernus. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just the colors have changed. They changed throughout day, and I think this is the peak of a good range of colors. But I might go to the. Actually, I'll just go straight to Trader City Star and then come back to the Northwest Airfield. Um, once I get my own vehicle, I'll be, I reckon, first, um, since I, I'm going to have to find a way to hide this vehicle and then get an SUV somehow, but the SUV is probably the fastest, although I might just end up getting a utility truck, since it is quite, it's decent for speed and it has a lot of space like this truck but the reason I'm gonna sell this is because I don't have the key and I will get a lot of currency for this I think it's about 210 ounce or even more 